there was never a school for white people that taught them agriculture. I started learning about agriculture when I was 10 years old. We had little gardens at next in our primary school where we would learn. And the whole idea was that when we graduated from there, we would then go and serve white people in terms of farming and everything. And I've always said uh, to people, can you name me one white agricultural college in Zimbabwe? There is none. So this whole myth of uh, 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 white people being very good farmers, it's a myth. We have more than 20 agricultural colleges for blacks in Zimbabwe. They have been there. Dombo Shawa was there uh, from the 1930s, I think. Uh, we had uh, uh, Chibero, we had Mlezu, we had all those, and this is people who have been. So we have very able farmers in abundance. Don't be fooled that we cannot farm. What we don't have is farms. And we have always been the best farmers. And we are good farmers and wherever. What has happened? Yes, there might have been in the fast track uh, 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 program a few mistakes made. This and the other. Okay, one minister has got five. But Ian Smith used to have 50,000 acres in Rutenga. And he had another farm in uh, uh, Shurube. I'm not trying to compare sins, but I'm pointing out at them that it is not true that we have come up with this most inefficient farming uh, 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 thing, and then, then it's back. I will then confess to you at the, uh, at the same time that the reason we have had such uh, poor farming output or performance is really down to government. Uh, uh, the government did not get it right. It, the government wanted to uh, stipulate low prices for uh, 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 staple foods, which is very, very good. You know, it's, everybody wants that, except the farmer. So you hear the government telling people, you want, we want you to sell maize at such a price. And then, uh, in order that the people can afford it. But what did not happen was the government to supply the same product. It asked the people to produce that. And what did those people do when they had to pay their children's school fees? They went to South Africa, Botswana, and whatever, bought bed spreads and bought cellular phones and what, and they come back. They make more out of selling one cellular phone than they would out of selling so many bags of mail. This is why the, this thing is, and there's no other reason at all. We are all, we are able farmers. We can, in fact, I don't think there is a place uh, uh, in, Africa with more concentration of able farmers than Zimbabwe. And you can check that in terms of the farmers who went to Mumwa in uh, Zambia. They were so prized that when Zimbabwe became independent, 
our neighbor Zambia, Zambia immediately gave the Zimbabweans uh, <coughs> Zambian uh, citizenship so that they couldn't go back and uh, whatever.